Prince Charles and Camilla arrived this morning in the Isles of Scilly for a day of engagements. Today marks the second day of the royal couple's annual three-day tour of Devon and Cornwall. And their trip comes after Prince Harry announced he is writing a memoir. Prince Charles and Camilla looked in high spirits despite the news, which a source who spoke to the Mirror said yesterday has created a tsunami of fear among the royals over what Harry will write. Speaking to the Telegraph, another aide said, we are more likely to answer questions next year when this memoir is due to be published. Another, when told the news, simply said, oh gosh. A Clarence House aide added, the prince loves his children very much and remains focused on his work to ensure we have a sustainable future for the next generation, including his own children, and grandchildren. Harry mentioned his father in his three major interviews over the past year, when he spoke to Oprah Winfrey with Meghan, during an episode of the Armchair Expert podcast and in the mental health series he co-created, The Me You Can't See. Speaking to Ms. Winfrey about his relationship with the Prince of Wales, Harry said he felt let down by his father for showing a lack of support. And during the podcast he attended as a guest, the Duke of Sussex appeared to criticize his upbringing, saying he aims to break the cycle of pain and suffering he experienced growing up. In his docu-series, Harry also said his family expected him to just deal with the press attention and mental distress following the death of Princess Diana. He said, my father used to say to me when I was younger, he used to say to both William and First, well it was like that for me so it's going to be like that for you. That doesn't make sense. Just because you suffered doesn't mean that your kids have to suffer, in fact quite the opposite. If you suffered, do everything you can to make sure that whatever negative experiences you had, that you can make it right for your kids. Speaking about his memoir, to be published in late 2022, Prince Harry said yesterday, I'm writing this not as the prince I was born but as the man I have become. I've worn many hats over the years, both literally and figuratively, and my hope is that in telling my story, the highs and lows, the mistakes, the lessons learned, I can help show that no matter where we come from, we have more in common than we think. I'm deeply grateful for the opportunity to share what I've learned over the course of my life so far and excited for people to read a first-hand account of my life that's accurate and wholly truthful. Prince Charles and Camilla appeared happy to meet people during their second day of engagements. Yesterday, they became the first members of the royal family to carry out a face-to-face -face visit after the government lifted all the remaining COVID-19 restrictions. As a result, the royals had no obligation to wear face coverings or maintain social distancing. Outside Exeter Chapel, their first engagement of the tour, Charles and Camilla spent time with well-wishers who gathered to catch a glimpse of the royals. Prior to that engagement, a source explained the Prince of Wales will now wear face coverings when asked to do so by his hosts. They told the Mail on Sunday, this is the first time the Prince has been to a location inside and won't be wearing a mask because it's a large area where people will be social distancing and it will be the first day of the new rules. When the rules state that a mask should be worn, then the prince will wear one but not otherwise. Similarly, Daily Express royal correspondent, Richard Palmer, tweeted, Prince Charles will not wear a mask on a visit to Exeter Cathedral today because he has not been asked to do so.